Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Truth Council 23 with me, Truth Nunez, and our spiritual council. We're so honored, grateful, and thankful to be here with all of you to share today's collective energetic read. Welcome to everybody. Welcome to our day ones. Welcome to our new subscribers, and welcome to everybody in between. Uh, and to the dream team. <laughs> We're so honored, my lovers. We're so honored and grateful to be this channel for you keeping in mind that you are the masters of your experiences we are just reading the energies uh, take what resonates leave what doesn't you are and forever will be the masters of your experiences of what you will or what you will not into this creation or this co-creation we're going to go ahead and get started by honoring and thanking our spiritual council the name tamara has been very present uh in meditation and preparation for somebody tamara or tammy um and the name Kathy as well is coming in. Um, I want to honor and thank my grandmama, Abuelita Gladys Nunez Malonado. I also want to honor and thank gra grandpapa. The, the name Olson is coming in uh, to my great gra to my great grandpapa. Okay, for some of you, it's your great grandpapa. To my uh, abuelito Felix Nunez Maldonado. No, not Maldonado. <laughs> Jesus, for some of you, you mixing your grand your great grandpapa with your mama's uh, family side. Uh, there could be a, a legacy issue in the field for some or some type of inheritance or a legacy issue and you're debating who came from where or maybe for some of you that genetic testing uh has been coming in and out of the reading so for some of you genetic testing or genetic mapping or tracing back lineages and who came from where and where came from who that's cool my lovies i think it's important to explore that but um especially if you have people you can you know kind of confirm certain things or maybe meditate upon it because you have all of that information uh genetic memory inside of you if you meditate upon it but um Anyways, uh, to mi abuelito Felix Antonio Nunez, I invite you to do the same. I do honor and thank your trusted ancestors, those that protect and love and guide you, the name Zach. Um, I invite you to honor whatever religious force, whatever spiritual force, whatever makes you feel good, grounded, and connected to the all as you are in this experience. You can also take a moment of silence to be in silence with yourselves. That's also more than enough. Let's get started, my lovies. Let us get started. And the bass keeps running, running, and running, running, and running, running. For some of y'all, you're in a party mood, my lovies. Follow your intuition. Release your inhibitions. Follow your intuition. Release your inhibitions, my lovies. Follow your intuition. For some of you, you could be doing like, um, there's a reason why um, it's been very present. Like maybe for some of you, you're doing intuition exercises or trying to like um, strengthen that. That's so cool, my lovies. That's an awesome thing. That is such an awesome thing. I got you more sage, my lovies, because I love you for sentimental reasons. And I hope that you believe me. I've given this my heart. I got you sage, my lovies. I got us sage. Sage for our page, my lovies. Um, yeah, but for some of you, you could be doing um exercises. That's really cool, my lovies. Uh, you can reach out to your sister friend. Um, I'll be more than happy to share uh, some of the exercises that I've done. I did share some yesterday in yesterday's reading and the reading, technically today's, um, the reading for the 23rd. Uh, so you can check out that video. It was in the beginning of that video or closer to the beginning. Um, I shared some exercises I've been doing since I was a child. Um, and I still do certain of those exercises. And I don't even think, it's not something I like, sit down and say like, I'm going to do this exercise. It's not like going to the gym. It's something you can do anywhere. Um, you could do it at the gym if you want. Maybe for some of you, you're, you're exercising your intuition when it comes to something about the gym. Or maybe for some of you, you're trying to be more, um, in, I'm getting like muscle memory. For some of you, you can be getting back into a routine. Tina, for some. You can be getting back into a routine. For some of you, you have really strong legs. I am getting really strong legs or someone has a really strong squat. Uh, maybe for some of you, it's a muscle memory thing. Maybe it is a... Everything is coming in for a reason. 
So maybe it's not necessarily like genetic memory per se, but it is. Uh, maybe for some of you, you come from a long, maybe you didn't even know. Maybe for some of you, you didn't know that, you know, someone in your family was very athletic uh, in their own right. Like maybe for some of you, you know, they lived in the countryside. Tomatoes have been very, gardening has been very present and for, president, president, um, Preston, um, Tomatoes have been very present uh, in the preliminary for you. So for some of you, definitely gardening. That energy of gardening has been very present. Uh, last night, I was getting like beautiful green peppers, like growing beautiful green peppers. 521. I think yesterday the same number stood out. Or was it the day day, the day before? Day day for some. Um, green peppers. I was seeing like these beautiful green peppers. Um maybe for some of you you're growing some type of vegetation and you're getting it's gonna be a beautiful harvest this year for some if for some of you if you're feeling like gardening i would i was seeing the most beautiful uh vegetation it's all preparation spirit saying it's all preparation for some of you preparation h or someone around you uh but um someone has hemorrhoids for some um but yeah, um, cause Spirit was giving us how I used to love the smell of tomatoes. I love tomatoes and how I used to love the smell of tomatoes. For some of you, potatoes. For some of you gonna be having potatoes. I'm getting like really fresh veggies. Like I'm seeing someone actually like digging into the soil. For some of you like growing potatoes or something about potatoes are in your field. It's making my mouth water. It's making me want to have a daughter. Now for some of you, I am getting like the Irish famine. Take that how it resonates. And something about salmon. For some of you, you'll be eating salmon. For some of you, food is very present. You hungry, my <laughs> For some of you, you're looking forward to this uh, Venus Day, Saturn's Day, uh, Sun's Day, because you're going to be eating. You're going to be eating, my love. I'm getting, like, really, like, I'm getting, like, I'm getting, I'm seeing Brussels sprouts, too. Like, roasted Brussels sprouts or roasted veggies. For some of you, you're about to eat, my love. You're about to get it on. Yes, my lovies. I like it. I like it. I love it. I want more of it. Anyways, my lovies. Like, I'm seeing, like, roasted potatoes or uh, potatoes, like, you put in the, no, baked potatoes. For some of you, baked potatoes. For some of you, uh, baked potatoes with butter. For some of you, Rus Russell. For some of you, Russell. For some of you, Russell Crow. Uh, for some of you, Cheryl Crow. For some of you, um, like, cut up Brussels sprouts. I keep seeing the Brussels sprouts and potatoes. Uh, and green beans. Not green beans, but for some of you, a green bean carousel. Carol, for some of you, Carol, uh, for some of you, Caroline or Caroline, for some of you, Vanessa, uh, but I am seeing like, uh, not green beans, asparagus, for some of you, asparagus, dang, my lovies, what's going on over there? I don't know, it's, it's fair though, it's, uh, it's all delicious. It's all nutritious. I'm seeing broccoli for some, steamed broccoli. I am seeing like bags of frozen broccoli for some, fra fra frags, frags. Here we got this frags or frags. Um, someone smokes. Someone smokes uh, like cigarettes, but not cigarettes. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Anyways, my lovies, here we go. Let's get to it. Let's do it. Someone's like, they got a balance. Like, it's like, they smoke. 811 was on the clock. They smoke. 88 could be significant for some. Uh, Anna, Aina, uh, Ada, uh, Ida. Um, someone smokes, but they're like, I must, I'm going to smoke, but I also want to, like, be healthy. So I'll eat, like, someone eats a lot of veggies. Um, all types of veggies. I am getting, for some, someone buys a lot of frozen veggies. Maybe you have to all replenish or someone's going food shopping. Because there's a lot of food in the field for some. So food shopping, maybe for some of you uh, going out to eat. Or maybe for some of you just treating yourself really nicely on this Saturn's Day. Because Saturn's Day brings in delays anyway. So might as well eat nicely. <laughs> That's nice. I like it. Anyways. To my abuelita Gladys, for some, here we go with this breastfeeding. Some soma, soma, uh, breastfeeding for some, or sensitive boobs around the field for some. To my abuelita Gladys Nunez Malonado. To my abuelita Gladys Nunez Malonado. To my abuelita Gladys Nunez Malonado. To my abuelito Felix Antonio Nunez. To my abuelito Felix, the name Kenny. To my abuelito Felix Antonio Nunez. The, to my abuelito Felix Antonio Nunez. To mamá Merce. To mamá Merce. To mama, merci. To shango, to shango, to shango, to yemaya, to yemaya. Some they're all two faced to yemaya, to papa legba, to papa legba, to papa legba, to elegua. I'm getting the cartoon character, to elegua, to elegua, 
to Oshun, to Oshun, to Oshun, to Ogun, to Ogun, to Ogun, to Kalima, to Kalima, to Kalima, to La Santa Muerte, to La Santa Muerte, to La Santa Muerte. To all of the trusted ancestors that protect and love and guide this work, what are the highest messages, the most truthful messages, the most just messages? To all of the trusted ancestors that protect and love and guide this work, what are the highest messages, the most truthful messages, the most just messages? To all of the trusted, loving ax axon, axon, um, I'm getting like SX and S SX, um, something about FX though, like the channel FX. Um, and I'm getting Netflix and chill for some, um, to all of the trusted, loving ancestors of all of those connecting with this work, what are the highest messages, the most truthful messages, the most just messages to the all, to your unconditional love and your mercy, to your divine wisdom, to your all knowing, to your all being, to your all seeing power. What are the highest messages, the most truthful messages, the most just messages to the all, to your unconditional love and your mercy, to your divine wisdom, to your all knowing, to your all being, to your all seeing power. What are the highest messages, the most truthful messages, the most just messages to the all, to your unconditional love and your mercy, to your divine wisdom, to your all knowing, to your all being, to your all seeing power. What are the highest messages, the most truthful messages, the most just messages? In love and truth and courage, in love and truth and wisdom, in love and truth and honor, in love and truth and mercy, in love and truth and courage, in love and truth and wisdom, in love and truth and honor, in love and truth and justice, in love and truth and courage, in love and truth and wisdom, in love and truth and honor, in love and truth and judgment. What is up? What is up? What is up? Hot stuff. How's it flowing? How's it going? What's popping? What's cracking? We're reading for my darlings. Feeding for my darlings. Beating for my darlings, it is true. We're beating for you. Uh, a white Mercedes could be significant for some. A white Mercedes just went by. Um, and all they do is lie. Uh, what is up, my lovies? Uh, we're reading for you, my lovies. You know that it's true. We're reading for you. We're reading for Saturn's Day, Gregorian, 11.59 on the clock. 11.59. 11, 59. Uh, 5, 9, energy, 14 energy temperance to need to temper things to not go to two extremes uh, uh to heal to take time to process to be wise about actions temperance bring, brings in some type of wisdom that temperance energy has been very very present for some and someone's pregnant uh sagittarius you could be dealing with a sagittarius for some of you uh temperance when it comes to a taurus maybe a taurus needs to temper something because one and four energy is five energy and uh, that's a belief system, Taurus energy. And uh, the number 55 could be significant for some as well. I am getting the Wheel of Fortune, Karmic Cycles, 10 and Tanya for some. Uh, a completion of a cycle that someone's been working very diligently towards or uh, about um, and maybe stressed. But Spirit's asking for temperance for a healing period, uh, for wisdom, Archangel Michael energy, uh, to be a warrior not of uh, destruction, but to bring in. Uh, to be wise about the wars that we involve ourselves in. To be like Wata, my friend. Um, but um, maybe for some of you, uh, martial arts. Maybe for some of you, uh, Spirit's going to invite you to take some time to um, kind of take that load off. I'm seeing the Ten of Wands in the actual spiral tarot. So for some of you on this Saturn's Day, through these delays and maybe conflicts because we're reading for the 24th and 6th energy. So there we have the choice, the lovers, a Gemini could be significant for some. June could be significant for some. Um, but Spirit's going, St. Nick, something could have started in uh, Chris, around Christmas or what we call Christmas and something about a christening. Maybe for some of you are working really hard on something. You're trying to plan something. There could be a christening. There could be an event. Spirit just wants you to take a little bit of a chill pill you deserve a little bit of a rest especially after you know working i am seeing that ten of wands very strongly spirit wants you to not you know be in toxicity not do too much where it's it becomes counterproductive it's like you know the celebration then turns into like a stressful a stress bomb and like that's no fun and something about tiger bomb for some you know spirit wants you to um chill to you know um enjoy something and and be kind of in flow and allow and allow things to grow naturally without necessarily overdoing too much in a situation. Uh, Ten of Wands energy. Um, 24 energy is 
a six energy. So six energy brings in, especially with the Saturn's day, there could be delays because of conflicts, especially in family situations. You could be learning the death of somebody. Uh, six energy does bring the death and it's usually uh, in a family. So you could be learning the death of a family member for some. Uh, six energy can also bring in a little bit of a pause in a situation in a couple or in a friendship or in a connection. It could bring in a pause. You know, you may feel like very like, okay, I'm going to pause from this situation. We're going to reconvene. I'm going to go and work on something else. Six energy, if it is a pause, for example, in the couple, usually uh, you come back together. Six energy does uh, invite reconciliations. If it's with a family, you come back together later. But it's like everybody go their separate ways. We've been doing too much. Maybe for some, someone's doing too much. I'm getting a song. I'm leaving messages and voicemails telling you I miss you. Baby, am I doing too much? Uh, baby, am I doing too much? Uh, something, something, babe, tell me what's the issue? Who I give these something to? Baby, am I doing too much? Why are you trying to diss boo and I'm just trying to kiss you? You may be doing too much, my lovies. It's all right. It happens. Uh, you may be doing too much and Spirit's just asking you to do a little less. Maybe for some of you, you're doing too much. You're trying to overextend. You're trying to overbend. In whatever situation, because I am seeing that 10 of wands. And Spirit's just like, you're good. Just chill. Let, let somebody else step in. Do your part and let somebody else step in for the other stuff. If that makes sense. Um, maybe it's maybe a couple or maybe, you know, take a take it how it resonates. Tika, this Tika and Mandika for some. What's Mandinka? Oh, Mandinka. For some of you, Mandinka. A tribe in Africa. Uh, but someone may be doing too much and um, it's time to let the other party do. Let them serve you, my lovies. All right, so here we're gonna we're gonna continue the series of getting to know your sister friend, getting to know you, getting to know all about truth, <laughs> getting to like you. You getting to like me, my lovies? Getting to know what to say. You're gonna get to know what to say to me, my lovies. Haven't you noticed? Suddenly I'm bright and breezy. Because of all the beautiful and new things I'm learning about you, my lovies, day by day. <laughs> you falling in love? We falling in love, my lovies? We are in love, my lovies. Oh, a white Tesla, my lovies. Y'all got a white Tesla for some of you? You got a Tesla? I'm seeing a red Tesla. I am also seeing... For some of you, you got Teslas, my lovies. Dang, my lovies. Dang. 17, uh, 19. 17, 19 on the clock. All right, let's do it. Let's get to it. For some of you, you got Teslas, my lovies. Dang. For some of you, you got a pickup truck, my lovies. Dang. For some of you, you got a bus, my lovies. Dang, my lovies. Okay, enough. 17, 17, 32, 17, 34. But if you're that that's I love you energy. I love you too, my lovies. I really do. Getting to know you. Getting to know. Okay. <laughs> Jesus, my lovies. Y'all be coming out with this stuff. Okay, you want me to describe myself in one word? Describe yourself in one word. So many words came in. Should I go with the first one? Like, okay, let me, let me, let me let it go for a second. This was an, this is an exercise for you, my lovies. This is, this was present in the, in the preliminary, in the preliminary, for some of you in the paramilitary, in the military, in the preliminary, and there was a lie. 1814, um, a paramilitary organization. Um, all right. There was a situation and there's a situation ship for some, um, all right. Uh, describe myself in one word. Spirit's giving dynamic. That's it. Dynamic. I'm dynamic. I describe myself in one word. Dynamic. There it is. Describe yourself in one word. Dynamic. That was sweet. I don't think I've ever dis described myself. Someone's disguising porno. Um, I don't think I've ever described myself as dynamic in my life, but that's what Spirit gave us today. I've died. I've for some someone's digressing. An officer's involved in a situation, a sheriff. Um, boom. Someone is, um, uh, 
<laughs> something all that porno energy has been very present like someone trying to access porno but they can't the last couple of days we haven't really paid too much attention to it but someone has issues with their porno anyways my lovies all right this is how we wanted to do it today we want to work with the 32 give you a couple from the 32 1918 um give you a few we'll do a three card spread with the 32 um and then we will move into the no cards because they want to speak with you and then we may finish out with a little bit of tarot Jack of Spades, people who don't have your best interest in mind. <laughs> Boom, by good, I love it. Jack of Spades, a man, a group of men, or a group of men and women, or a group of women who don't have your best interest in mind. These are the waves that you are riding for some of you, and someone is presiding. For some of you, this could be in a court case. Uh, people that, when it's in a court case, it changes things a little bit differently. I am seeing King of Spades energy, so for some of you, this has to do with courts or with a legal procedure or some type of procedure that involves legalities. Um, when it's like that, these people people don't necessarily they're not necessarily against you unless it comes out with the eight of spades and we do have kind of an eight of spades energy floating around but that's been floating around for you for the last few days for some of you um so you have people that are willing to really do some stuff to harm you to finesse you in some way to really for some of you to caress you even i don't know and so they're all carissa i don't know what that means uh for some of you you may be dealing with a lot of perverts in a situation that want to pretend like something's deeper than it's not uh for some of you beepers uh for some of you people with multiple phones oh my gosh they're going down that's the second day in a row my lovies they're going down they're going down my lovies anyways boom by goo jacks of jacks of speed uh a man or a group of men or a group of men and women or a group of women who don't have your best interest in mind in a situation but you're gonna be all right they deserve a they des de desiree they deserve a standing kayla they deserve a standing ovation for their acting skills though but you'll be all right uh if it's just by themselves you know jack of spades like they're just not your buddies they're not people that would go above and beyond for you 21 11 21 12 in fact they're mirroring you in opposite directions so they may this may have to do at some point you're gonna have to go for a new beginning and if you multiply you got 222 two, two energy in there as well you could be seeing a lot of 222 two, two, one, 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 21 12 any of those combinations uh three energy is in there as well so in some type of collaboration you have to collaborate with these people for some reason you have to work through this you have to work in groups you have to work in for, for some of you have a school project <coughs> Oh, clear those throat chakras. You may have to collaborate with people that you don't really like care too much for in a school setting. It may just be, they, they. here we go with this vetting. For some of you, someone's vetting for something or they're scouting for something. For some of you, uh, police scouts I am getting. For some of you, there could be police scouts involved in a situation. Again, these are people that are very like procedural. So like if, if you're training for something or you're trying to get into some type of like, uh, you know, paramilitary or military organization, these people are just like, if they're scouting or... For some of you, someone is scouting. 2211 was on the clock. Jesus. So that's 2222 two, two, two energy. Um, so for some of you, if you're dealing with people like this and you're and you're kind of just, there's a struggle, but it's not necessarily, for some of you, there is a slight power struggle in a situation. Um, but it's just because, you know, everybody wants to win something or it's like you want to make rank or you want to make something. Like you want to get into something for some. Somebody wants to get into some type of organization and people are like, you know, they're not your buddies. They're not your friends even though they may be kind or cordial or whatever um they're not your friends they're not your buddies um well Oh, we got a king of clubs here. Oh my gosh, in this present moment. So for some of you, in this present moment, we got a king of clubs. So this is for you as the quarant uh, or your partner. And you have a, something new happening for you or your partner. Uh, seven of hearts, seven of clubs. There's going to be communication from a new person. For some of you, you can be getting to know someone new. And uh, this person is, uh, is going to be an ally in some situation or a good friend. Or for some of you, you could be getting to know someone new that could eventually turn out to be uh, a solid partner in some type of situation it could have to do with love for some of you you have some type of new beginning for some of you, you could be reconciling again i do feel that six energy brings in again a split in the couple but eventually you could reconcile for some of you seven of kyle for some of you kylie um for some of you o'reilly's for some of you you have to get something new for your vehicle because there's a lot of vehicle energy in the field as well for some your cars are coming in with a lot of you so maybe doing things to your vehicle maybe getting an oil change maybe, maybe getting a tire rotation for some i am getting an alignment for some so a lot of just like maintenance stuff and you got to go and do new stuff or this is your partner 
or this is you as a gentleman, take it how it resonates, uh, or this is you as a Rebecca, because a Rebecca's coming in as well. Seven of Hearts energy, something new, a reconciliation, a pregnancy for some. That pregnancy energy has been very in your field. So for some of you, your partner or you as a gentleman can find out someone is pregnant. Or for some of you, you will be announcing a pregnancy. Take what resonates and leave what does not. All right, we're going to do, so we said we're going to do 24, 14. We're going to do one, two, and three, and then we will clarify. Clara, the name Clara, Carolina, Ace of Hearts energy, the home, the couple, the family, the home, the couple, and the family. At the center of it all, certainly, certainties, clarity, and situations. Check out my Instagram. Uh, I, it's funny. A year ago, something from a year ago for some. A year ago, um, I this was the energy of the day on Instagram. I shared a story on Instagram about this. And Spirit told us this morning, reshare that story. And I did. And there it is. So for some of you, uh, if you want to check out the Instagram. For some of you also, if you want to check out the Instagram, that's where we're going to do our next live. So on Saturn's Day, we will be doing a live on Instagram where you can come in and ask a question. We'll do a special rate. Uh, so we will get clarification on a situation usually they they go pretty deep i don't like to limit it too much so i say like a question but i really go with the flow and allow spirit to uh guide whatever is necessary or if but if you do come in with a question you can ask a question or if you want clarification on a situation like can you give me a little bit more insight on this company and we go into that so if you want to join that will be on saturn's day but certainly Certainly, we got uh, news, we got a face-to-face, -face, we got letters, we got documents for some, certainly, ooh, that are blocked. For some of you, there's news that's blocked. For some of you, there's a face-to-face -face with family that is blocked. For some of you, you have family because the Ace of Hearts is at the top of this. So for some of you, if you're waiting on documents about a property, it's currently blocked. Saturn's Day brings in delays and blocks, but it's more delays. For some of you, something may just be blocked and Spirit may need you to redirect that energy somehow. There is communication that's blocked for some. For some of you, there's a letter that's blocked. You could be waiting on something, but it's not going to come. It's almost like something got lost in the mail for some. For some of you, uh, snail mail, something got lost in snail mail. Uh, Ace of Hearts energy is the home it's the couple it's the family for some of you if you are looking to reconcile with a family member or someone that is important to your home or to your your close-knit community right now it is blocked for some of you someone with diplomatic immunity is in your field for some of you a lot of government energy Oh, for some of you, this is you. This is a gentleman who is blocking a situation. There's a gentleman who's blocking a situation who has to travel not too far from where they are. For some of you, uh, your significant other could be feeling blocked. For some of you, you as a gentleman, you feel like you need to block something. It's making you a little bit angry, a little upset because of the delays. For some of you, there's a delay in communication. For some of you, there's anger in the field, certainly, when it comes to blocks. For some of you, there's something, okay, military energy. I told you, for some of you, you could be waiting on news or someone around you is waiting on news from a government institution i'm feeling for some like somebody really wants to get into something and they're waiting on news i don't think someone's gonna make it in they have to find another way uh 27 11 it's over 27 and 11 9 energy and 11 that's hermit energy someone needs to learn from their life lessons some type of isolation period or a confinement period or or prison because i am getting very like military you know take it how it resonates but 11 energy is justice energy and some type of judicial procedure or something that has to do with government or something that has to do with uh, someone in a uniform the king of diamonds and the 32 is someone in the in the legal field uh in the in the military an officer some type of an officer involved in a situation uh maybe for some somebody's trying to try out i'm getting like a tryout or a scout or something like that and um uh, it's not gonna work for some of you if you have distance travels i think the distance travels are blocked specifically because of a gentleman that doesn't want to go in a situation or for you as a gentleman you may not want to go somewhere you may actually ghost somebody <laughs> For some of you, you're going to be blocking communication with someone because you're kind of upset or something has this person upset in this present moment. In this present moment, for some of you, 10 of spades in this present moment. So like as you're watching this or maybe a few hours later, no more than three days uh, before or after, um, you could be experiencing some type of upset in a situation um, because something also has to, this king of diamonds, for some of you, because there are delays also for something coming from a distance, you're waiting on news 
from a distance from a queen of diamonds from a female who doesn't have your best interest in mind for some of you you could be the queen of diamonds energy has been very present for some for some of you you're waiting on news from a female who has to travel at a distance or someone with foreign origins than you for some of you if you are in a couple for some of you you could you could be there's a man involved with a female who doesn't have his best interest in mind and it's almost like waiting for a breakup <sighs> but this person's making it difficult for some of you there's a female who is at a distance from you if this is a work situation you're waiting on communication from a female who's deliberately delaying something For some of you, you're waiting on news from a female who is new to you or somebody that wants to potentially reconcile with you or someone who's thinking of a pregnancy. For some of you, your mom, you're spending a lot of time with your mother. For some of you in this present moment, this female is worried about money or you're worried about money. This person's waiting on communication. Yeah, there's that seven of clubs. So you're waiting on communication from this person who's at a distance from you when it has to do with a significant amount of money. For some of you, you're going to get or you're communicating quite a bit. Uh, something about quail. You're, uh, something about quail, something about quahogs. Uh, you're communicating quite a bit with a female who doesn't have your best interest in mind in a situation. There are delays. Uh, this person could either be in the military or, in, uh, or works in a uniform or this is someone with foreign origins in you or this could be someone in, that travels internationally or this could be someone that is really really far from you and uh, you're waiting on some type of news and communication this person you have to have a face-to-face -face with this person but this person is not trustworthy for some of you there's a little bit of a delay and a face-to-face -face with a female who doesn't have your best interest in mind this person's been communicating a lot with you this person's not okay psychologically spiritually or emotionally this person could have a really nervous tick. This person, yep, there's definitely a face-to-face. -face. This person is very worried about a face-to-face -face that she wants to have. This person made up some type of lie. She wants to pretend to be a friend. She's not. There's a brother. There's two people involved in a situation. This could be a brother and uh, this could be two brothers. Here we go with this two brothers and a sister, but I really want to say two sisters and a brother. Uh, so there could be something wrong with a, a brother in a situation. Uh, they're going to all get together. For some of you, These this person's going to get together there's a, a female at a distance from you who you need to have some type of visual with for some reason but this person wants to communicate or she's been communicating a lot and there's delays in this meeting but this person is um is going to be with a few people none of these people are trustworthy um this person is a pretending none of these people are trustworthy jack of spades this person's pretending to be a friend. She's communicating quite a bit. This person's really fake. This is a gaslighter. I'm getting love and gaslight. This person's a liar. She's worried about a meeting. Um, she's really nervous. Her energy is nervous and scatterbrained. Um, she's also really envious of a... Oh my gosh. Okay, so we have a star seed, a unicorn. She wants to... She wants to eat up love and gaslight. She's a gaslighter. She's trying to gaslight an influencer. She wants, she, Spirit's asking her to stay in her lane. She's really, uh, she really wants to give somebody the big F you, but she gaslights because she's actually envious. Boom. Um, this person's going to, for some of you, uh, meeting with somebody, it's like this person's going to be with a bunch of people uh, who are her buddies. Uh, this person is a lunatic, to be quite frank. Someone's a lunatic. They're really envious um, and they love and gaslight. Yes, yes, peace, love. Yes, yes. You got to feel the people's soul. Sometimes you just got to let them talk, though, because at this point, so certain people are fucking ridiculous. <laughs> it's like, they're ridiculous. And the name Nicholas is coming in. Um, boom. Okay. So we got that out of the way. For some of you, you'll be spending time with your mama or your mama will be supporting you. There's a well-meaning female for some of you, a mom who has your back when it comes to blocking a situation. For some, your grandmama's protecting you as well or a great grandmama. For some of you, something about Granada, something about Grenada or Granada. Um, Spain could be significant for some. Yeah, this, this woman is a family member to you. This is your mama and you got joy. I felt her energy. So she's really beautiful. Something about... Uh, Sisha, Sisha, something like that. Sasha, Sisha, but it's like Sisha or something. And something about Felicia too. Um, for some of you, you're, you'll be meeting with your mama at your mama's house. It's going to make you very happy. For some of you, you have a really beautiful mama. For some of you, she's going to support you through blocking a situation out uh, and uh, finding your freaking peace. 
when it comes to a legal procedure or a medical procedure for some of you uh there could be delays in a situation but your mom is going to help you in some type of situation your mom is a very sweet person she she has real love in her heart it's really sweet uh you're gonna have a, a surprise for some okay supplies for others boom love and gaslight Yeah, someone who's vindictive. You got someone who's vindictive here. Regretting the choices that they've made in life. <laughs> you are being protected, spirit. I told you, you got spirits protecting you. I feel that. For some of you, it's your, actually your mom in this realm is protecting you energetically and whatever she can do to help you um but also in the spiritual realm you have great grandmothers protecting you 34 32 too much damage has been done in a situation for some of you too much damage has been done uh, your intuition is on point for what are we saying earlier i'm telling you for some of you I'm feeling like whatever you're doing when it comes to following your intuition and spirit was giving it to us earlier certain people you know again to each his or her own you got to let people experience whatever the lesson they have to go through but you don't lie to spirit certain people they talk about their intuition and in times of challenge that's when you really need to follow your intuition and most people not not most let me take that back some people don't some people don't for you i feel this i when i'm saying something is because spirits trained us to follow our intuition even when to me it doesn't it's not for me it's not about making sense maybe for some of you this is why you need to hear this you don't need to necessarily make sense of the downloads you're getting you need to follow your intuition if something tells you don't go don't talk to that person i don't give two shits if that person's telling you they're your best friend and they love you so much and blah 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 and oh my god all of this even if they give you i don't care how much money they throw at you i don't care what kind of uh, I don't know, pedestal they want to put you on. You have to read the energy and follow your intuition because your intuition can save you. Spirit's giving us Dr. Sebi's energy has been very present. For some of you, Dr. Sebi could be significant or you've been looking into like uh, alkaline diets or something like that. But um, he had people that worshipped him. And when it came to, you know, going to court, he saved a lot of lives. But there were certain people that actually showed up for him. They showed up for him. For some of you, that energy has been present. It was present in the preliminaries coming back in. Uh, you have a copycat. You have a few copycats for some uh, that copy everything you do and have never given you credit. They have copied so much from you and spirit saying they feel ashamed and they should because they have never, they copy almost everything you say. Every other word, they never gave you credit. They never said, oh, yeah, I got this idea from X, Y, or Z. For some of you, you have really envious people or you've interacted with a lot of envy. But that's okay because you got to learn that energy. You got to learn how it works. Uh, your intuition is on point. You need to follow it. You've been doing a lot of intuition exercises. You need to follow it. Continue to follow your intuition. Even when it feels like, am I? Don't question yourself. Don't question it. When people try to project weird shit onto you, Trust your intuition. I don't care how much they smile. I don't care if they're supposedly the most beautiful person. I don't care if they come to you like this and talk to you like this. I don't give two shits. Follow your intuition. I've saved. I've been saved a lot from a lot of snakes that oh, talk like this and act like this. And then you see the fucking snake in them. And it's like, I saw it. Thank you. Bye. Sometimes it's not that easy. Sometimes it's like, I got to interact with this person. But now you know. Follow your intuition, my lovies. Someone's fucking vindictive on the low. And they're ashamed. They've also regret their choices, but they're also ashamed and they're vindictive. Someone's a nut job. I told you I feel nut job energy in the field. People that take stupid jobs at you. It's like, why did they say that? That was so uncalled for. But they feel like you're not going to catch it. Or maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Some Someone's weird. A vacation. I told you for some of you are going on vacation. Go, my lovies. Go. That vacation energy has been present for you, my lovies. Planning all types of vacations. For some of you, someone does want to cancel a vacation, though. Someone's not going on vacation. And someone's vindictive because you're not going on vacation with them. It's like, apparently, succubus, incubus energy. Some type of demon on you. Uh, cause they were competing for the prize. Someone who is, uh, vindictive. How do we do this, my loves? Yeah, we're gonna do it like this. Spirit said this is enough. Someone that's vindictive, uh, was competing for some type of prize, playing house. 
Uh, you got to check the deed for some. We did say something about land. You got to check the deed. They're playing house. Um... Satere Mawe, some type of uh, ritual for some of you, some type of initiation or ritual for a youngster. Someone's vindictive. You got meal prep for some, competing for the prize. Someone meal prep. The letter S, who's playing house. The name Sam, I am getting. Something about a Sichuan. Chinese could be, or Asia could be significant. Sichuan, though. You got to follow, uh, your intuition is on point. You need to follow your gut. For some of you, there's some, you should check yesterday's reading. Visas, visas came in, a vocational visa. Somebody who, <laughs> someone is blowing money on gold diggers or fake friends. For some of you, someone is blowing money on gold diggers or fake friends. Uh, who are on visas, someone's blowing money on gold diggers and fake friends, but they treat others like shit. Uh, we got closing documents. You got to check the deed with the closing documents for some. And I am protecting you. For some of you, someone is being protected to, through some type of ritual. I am protecting you. Your intuition is on point. Someone that needs to go through some type of an in initiation ritual when it comes to a child or a teenager. Satere Mawe. Where is Satere Mawe from? I think that's from Ghana. Someone can be from Ghana. Someone who's competitive, vindictive, uh, who likes to meal prep, who's playing house, but this person can't be taken seriously. You got to check the deed when it comes to a vocational visa. For some of you, vocational visa, you have to, if someone's on some type of visa, you have to check their paperwork because somebody may not be telling you um, who's someone who's a liar, vindictive, who's blowing money or getting people to blow money on them. They may not be telling you everything you need to know when it comes to uh, um, their visa or their visa status. There's issues with a visa for some. For some of you, there's legal documents. There's issues with a visa. Your intuition is on point when it comes to, if you are thinking 40, 56, 40, 56, 40 and 56 that's 40 and 11 but i'm also getting the number 51 someone could be or two people could be between the ages of 40 and 51 or people involved in this situation between the ages of 40 and 51 um but um your intuition's on point you're being protected you got to check the information this is for somebody that likes to blow money on i'm also getting on strippers um blow money on gold diggers and fake friends you got to check the the closing documents for some you got to check the closing documents someone who likes to meal prep who likes to eat uh uh who likes to be slim um because that makes sense um this person is vindictive and they're playing house they're competing for a prize they're very vindictive for some of you follow your intuition release your inhibitions follow your intuition the letter s could be significant for some okay for some of you if you are closing uh, especially when it comes to again a lot of meal prepping for some, I am feeling that. A lot of things to do with food and whatnot. Um, someone's trying to throw you off. Someone's trying to throw you off. I feel like, I'm like, we're talking about some serious shit here. Like, what, what are you talking about meal prepping and diets? I don't know. <laughs> it's like someone's trying to throw this off. Because there's something really serious for some here. Someone's playing house. They're trying to close on a legal on a legal deal, and um, it's a steal. They think they're gonna steal something, or they're trying to steal something. Anyways, we got a vocational visa. It was your mother. For some of you, a vocational visa, and it was your mother. Your mother could have been involved with an issue with a vocational visa. For some, uh, someone is hell bent. You got to check the deed because someone is hell bent on doing something. You have to check the deed because someone is hell bent uh, on doing something. For some of you, your mom is not that trustworthy. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. 4257. Uh, we got a unique person who likes to meal prep for some of you you are unique you like to meal prep or someone is unique and they like to meal prep 
we got a pregnant side piece. <laughs> this energy has been very present. A uh, pregnant side piece who's competing for the prize, who was competing for some type of prize. For some of you, got a pregnant side piece who was competing for a prize. Uh, there are holes in their story for a reason. If spirit insists, EpiPens, somebody has a, some type of a, a, an insomnia, insurance claim, insurance policy, and also, um, uh, I want to say allergic, but an EpiPen. There are holes in their story for a reason uh, for this uh, African person or this Ghanaian or someone from Africa who was competing. There are holes in their story for a reason. Uh, bone marrow. Someone who is very vindictive, they're vindictive in their soul, they're vindictive in their uh, DNA, quid pro, uh, quid pro quo, this for that, uh, you're being protected, I am protecting you for anyone who is trying to uh, get you to do something, this for that, some type of harassment. Adams, what did we say about Adams earlier? Anyways, Adams, your intuition is on point, follow your intuition, follow your gut, your intuition is on point, and the atomic level, you can feel a Tom, a Tom, the name Tom was coming in as well. Take that how it resonates. Uh, we got a five-star restaurant. For some of you, you will be fine dining. The letter S. Uh, they hate the truth. Of course they do. Because uh, they're just playing house and it's fake. Uh, Memorial Day, uh, closing documents on Memorial Day. They will be closing documents that on Memorial Day or you will be closing on a property on Memorial Day. I would be very cautious. Uh, someone who is devoted on... <laughs> someone who is devoted to blowing money on gold diggers or fake friends. Someone who is devoted to blowing money on gold diggers or fake friends and they won't help someone that is actually in need. They will blow money fast on people on that app. Yes, that's how they are. Uh, that's how it is. I don't make the rules. I just uh, follow them. The letter V, someone's regretting. The letter V is regretting the choices they've made, the airhead that they are. Uh, Boaz energy, because somebody has Boaz energy and they betrayed a Boaz. For some of you, I am getting a whole ass who betrayed a good man to, to be in competition with others. And she dissed a Boaz energy. I'm getting a female, but male, female, take it how it resonates. Uh, because all they give a fuck about is popularity contests. Now you look like a fucking airhead. No offense, my lovies. I'm just a messenger. Some people are just stupid with their demons. Uh, someone's going to get approved for a loan. Uh, dressing to impress. 11 to 7. Uh, someone's getting a promotion in the tropics. And this one wants to speak right behind it. This person does not like sex and prefers other forms of intimacy. Uh, because they have Kraken energy. Boom. All right, my lovies. I think that was intense. I think that was intense. Uh, the dragon could be significant. The tiger could be significant. The ox, the monkey, something about a fox. Something about Megan Fox is coming in. Have you been watching that, my lovies? For some of y'all, y'all brought a 50 days fiance. Not 50 day, but maybe a 50 day fiance for some of you. 90 day fiance. You brought that shit in, my lovies. It's in, the, it's in my feed now. I'm like, who's been watching this? Uh, apparently, a lot of you have been watching 90 day fiance. It's cute. It's interesting. It's interesting. Um, oh, this one wants to speak with you. Death, an ending, a Scorpio. Death, an ending of a situation, a transformation. BMF, blowing money fast. Ooh, seven of swords, deceit, sneaky behavior, trying to get away with things, bored. And someone's bored. They're bored. Four of cups energy to the, they're bored with this whining and dining. Uh, they try to do this sneakily. Uh, they take uh, third parties on, on trips and shit. 47, uh, 25 someone's trying to be sneaky uh and date all around the world or date a bunch of people yeah they give here they give there they're arrogant they're uh overly ambitious um here before we go because apparently this energy is present so they want to talk they're sleeping with somebody else's spouse. Somebody is sleeping with somebody else's spouse. For some, somebody left a good man or a good woman to go fuck around with somebody else's nasty husband or nasty wife. They don't even deserve that title, but that's what that's that's where some people are. 
Um, they are, they're, they're still teetering. So they do this from time to time. Sometimes they stop. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they stop. Sometimes they don't. They have, they, they, they use somebody's spouse as a fuck buddy, 48, 12. They find it funny. Uh, they're actually laughing in their soul. These people find this funny. They make fun of their spouses. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, twin flame fuck shit and late night calls. They find it funny. They find it funny. They find it funny. She ain't got no money. She ain't got no money, apparently. Moni and Monica. And spell work against you. This person is doing spell work uh, to make you feel tied to them. Uh, this was supposed to be a friend to some child support. Oh my gosh, we got child support. We got exes that are stalking, that need drugs to function. We got same-sex relations too, and they don't know how to love. They're gaslighting the fuck out of you, and they're making you feel like, um, this is twin flame. This is just a shame. <laughs> and for some of you, it's Shana or Shauna. For some of you, there's a teacher involved in a situation. They live in shame. You got spell work to win you too. My God. False accusations, of course. False accusations. Uh, someone who is desperate to falsely accuse somebody. They want to get physical. Someone that does OnlyFans or some type of porn. They are arrogant as fuck. They are stealing. What did I tell you? They steal from you. These are the type of people that they'll steal from you. They will want to copy things that they feel like are holy in you. This is what's coming in. I'm just a messenger. It's like if you're a really good woman or you're a really good man, you're not a fucking sleaze. These people will try to steal what they feel like is like copy your essence in some way. And it's like, honey. <sighs> Uh, secret hidden feelings it's like talking to the wall they're facing fucking karma for the spell work that they did all against you and to win you new jersey could be significant for some someone did spell work against you but they also did spell work to win you they did spell work to block you for some of you just uh just uh just uh just uh, augusta justin justine christine a legacy, the legacies, because they chose wrong. They chose wrong. This is what it feels like. They chose a karmic over a divine feminine. They chose wrong. They chose the wrong person. And they blow money fast on that ass. But for you, they called you a gold digger. It's like, I was never a gold digger. For you, they looked at you as you were stingy or you were Scrooge or you were this or you were that. They weren't even fucking looking at you. Someone's a fucking airhead. They weren't even looking at you. I don't know what they were looking at, but the energy I'm reading, they were not looking at you. They were looking they were looking for a clue on how to destroy you so they can go hoe around with a hoe. It's like, what the hell? I'm just a messenger. It's like, they were not looking at you. They weren't looking at you at all. They made up stories about you, my lovey's false accusations. Uh, what I'm downloading, again, I am the channeler. I'm downloading some bullshit that I'm like, spirit, this is what this person, how the hell does this person even thinking this Griselda? <laughs> like, how were you even thinking this bullshit? They just wanted to run. They just wanted to run. Now they really want to run. And they can't even run from the karma that's fucking hitting their ass. This like spirit showing us like a train. It's like a karma. You know, like when they say, I feel like I got hit by a truck. This person is, is their body hurts so much all the time. They're losing their mind. All the lies, all the spell work, all the bullshit. <laughs> and it's like talking to the wall with this person. It's like talking to the wall. They think they're the smartest. They think that they've done everything right. That's why they can't fucking sleep at night with their issues with their fucking child support. It's like, come on, honey. When the fuck are you going to wake up? They're not. Not for a while. Not for a while. They're with a control. They're, they're a manipulator. And they're with a control freak and a manipulator. But they were calling you the control freak and the manipulator. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. They got a dirty fucking dick. And they're secret fucking lovers too. And they pay for fucking sex. They like to blow money and third party fuck shit. And they still don't get it. They're still in it. They're still pathetic. They're still stalking. They're still watching. They're still harassing. They're still worried about you and what the fuck you're doing. Sex is stalking. And they're still worried about others too. It's like you worried about everything but your fucking self. And they're holding on to their fucking exes too. I told you. I feel like they're holding on to you. They're fold holding on to others. They're folding. They're folding. Something about scaffolding. Because they're folding. They pay for escorts. These exes are escorts. 
For some of you, you're the only high quality person someone's dated. And I'm not trying to fucking stroke your ego. I'm saying this is what the spirits are telling me. You are the only high quality person someone has dated. They feel so jaded because they fucked up. And you're too different. You're too different. You are literally the only, I'm not in spirituality, there's no hierarchy, but they say what's trash, you throw it away. You are the only high quality person I am talking about on a soul level. I don't give two shits what you own, what title you have, where you live, how you dress. On a soul level, you are the only high quality. In you have integrity in your soul. You have morals and a standard in your soul. If you were put in a shithole, you would hold yourself to those standards. There are certain things I'm not going to sell my soul. I don't give two fucks how much money I have in the bank. This person deals with rats. I don't care what the fuck they look like. I don't care how many surgeries they've had. I don't care how many times they get their eyebrows done. I don't care how what kind of Gucci belts these men have. I don't care what kind how they dress. I don't care what kind of car they fucking drive. These people are soulless. You had a soul. And this person could not recognize that. That you were too different from what they were used to. You scared the shit out of somebody. I think you scared the shit out of somebody for some. You scared the shit out of a cold-hearted snake. They don't have souls. These people don't have souls. They think they're competing with you. It's like they don't have souls. It's not to offend them. And they're all in high demand and in high detraction and in high demand. So it's like, please, please, please. They're addicted to karmics. They're addicted to sleaze balls and they deny accountability. <sighs> They want to show up. They want to show up. They want to keep showing up. They want to stalk you. They want to watch you from fake accounts. They want to make stupid comments on what you're doing or what you're not doing. Again, for some of you, I told you, tis the season. 55, 15, 55, 14, 55, 15, 55, 18. 2018 could be significant. You could have broke up with this person in 2018. Or that's the last time you saw each other. 2015 could be significant for some. 2017. Something about Tina. They want to try to keep you waiting while stealing energy from you, stealing your ideas, stealing your time, stealing your essence. They never invested in you, but they invested in others. They neglected you. Or this is what you did, my lovies. I'm just a messenger. I feel the neglect. I feel the neglect. Spirit is seeing it as neglect. This person lacked accountability when it came to this, but they splurge on the others. Oh, do they splurge. They've never held that against them, huh? Neg neglectful, neglectful energy, never invested in your projects, never gave you the fucking time, held on to their stupid ass exes who do black magic on them. And they didn't want to let that go either. It's like if you ever tried to warn this person, like maybe you should get rid of that amulet because maybe this person hexed it and they fucking did. Maybe you should get rid of that fucking plant because this person hexed it. That's why it's fucking will wi uh, withering. No, they looked at you like you were crazy, like you didn't know. So uh, so what do you want? What do you want? They wanted to fuck up your self-esteem. This is what they wanted. A scorned lover who wants to keep holding on. So then on top of that, they made themselves the victim. They're scorned. They are scorned. They were warned. They're a control they're a control they're a control freak and a manipulator. They're a manipulator. And they spy through readings. This is what it feels like. It feels like really stupid. And 13 is peaking. Death energy. For some of you, this is over. I don't... They, they want to look over your shoulder. I don't know what that means. <laughs> this is over, over, over. They spy on you all the time. They want to know what you're up to. I think somebody's obsessed and they just... Uh, they lost the best. They really did. They really did. I'm not... I'm not kidding. They really lost... Lustful. They really lustful too. They really lost... Lust. It's what you're saying. They really lust. They really lust. <laughs> I want to say they really lost a star, but they were really lustful. <laughs> They're really lustful. They're really lustful. This is the type of person, like, they have nothing to offer you, but for some reason, if they feel like you're moving on, they want to be in the middle. They want to try to kind of get in your energetic, like, space somehow. You have nothing to offer. What don't you get? 
It's, it's like talking to the wall. It really is. They try to pull on your emotions. They want to ruin new opportunities, new friendships for you. Like, oh my gosh. You have a new offer here. You have something else, something different. You're getting to know somebody. I don't know. You're with somebody else. I don't know. It's like somebody wants to ruin that. And I told you you're the effing star. I told you. I'm not I'm not stroking your ego, my lovies. That's not me. If I don't feel this energy, I'm not going to say it. But spirit is saying it for a reason. You are a star. I feel you. I, it's in your soul. I'm not saying it. I knew it was going to come out. I knew. They love us. They love us, my lovies, because you did the fucking work and you're not a jerk. You actually are a star. It's, it's just in you. I'm saying it for a reason. You're healing. You're beautiful. You're delightful. You're inspiring. You're in your divine purpose. You allow the divine to guide you. You're loyal in your soul. Your fucking goals. Idiots don't know what to do. And you have a new beginning here. For some of you, you went somewhere new or you're going somewhere new or you took a leap of faith in another direction for your legacy. Ten of Pentacles. And your leap of faith is paying you is paying you off. It's paying you off. For some of you, you're going to pay something off. Anyways, my lovies. That was beautiful. I liked that ending, actually. I like that ending of pretending, my lovies. Because you know why? They got to pretend with you because you were downplaying yourself. If it's trash and you don't take it out and you let it rot around you, what do you think you're going to become? You said, I release this. I release this. Take this back, spirit, because I don't know what to do with this. And it's hurting me. So take it back. And spirit took it back. So you don't die of a fucking heart attack. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> uh, but somebody is. Someone's going to die of a heart attack. They need to recover. Someone's going to have a heart attack. Work on healing for some. For some, someone's going to need to work on healing after having some type of heart attack or shutdown. They're going to survive. That's a good thing. Anyways, my lovey, stay well, my lovey, stay well. Stay absolutely well. You have no clue how much spirit loves you. For some of you, someone's going to have a heart attack because what is they slept on you. For some of you, it's like they knew, but they didn't want to know. That's what it feels like. Anyways, you'll know one day what I'm talking about. Because that's what it feels like. Spirit's going to reveal something to you that is just for you. And somehow this person is going to also know too because it's part of their karma. Or these people, take how, take how, how we, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. But they're going to know. And when they know, it's going to cause them like a, sh like a, it's almost going to send them into some type of heart attack or a mental breakdown or some shit. Anyways, uh, or maybe they're already there because <laughs> it's what's fair anyways my lovies i love you i love you for sentimental reasons and i hope that you believe me i've given this my heart my lovies i love you my lovies uh your sister friend loves you and adores you loves you if someone's lawless and adores you and you're flawless my, my sister friends my sister friends you're flawless your sister friend loves you and adores you loves you and adores you spirit friends love you and adore you Love you and adore you. Your sister friend loves you and adores you. Something about Doya loves you and uh, Latoya and adores you. Your spirit friends and your sister friend and your spirit friends and your sister friend. In love always, in love always. Alexis, in love always and forever, homies. Peace.